Oh, and Walford with the Houdini axe still on his feet. Here's Hinton. Touchdown, Wake Forest. Looking deep, and what a catch, Cortez Lewis. You feel like the program's now to point where we can really seriously be looking at a bowl game for the Demon Deacons. I mean, that's certainly our, our goal. It's uh, We've made a lot of investments in our program the last two years, whether it's the McCreary Fieldhouse, which is a brand new indoor, which I would say is as nice as anyone in the country, to the recruiting, the redshirting, the playing, all the freshmen and sophomores a year ago, that certainly the, the program is on more solid foundation now than at any point that we've been there. Over the last couple of years, when you've had this kind of plan and kind of this big idea about where you guys needed to get to, have you been able to stay on track with where, where, what you kind of built, uh, looked at a couple of years ago? Absolutely, I think we're, we're right on track. Um, in every measurement of our program, whether it's strength numbers, speed numbers, GPAs, APR, graduation success rate, all of those things, all the numbers are up. And I always think the third year is a big year because at this point, two-thirds of the players came to Wake Forest to play for our staff. In the upperclassmen that are there, the majority of them have bought in. And, and that's really where I've always found the third year is a big year that you know the, the locker room is more unified, the culture of the program is set, there becomes internal competition, it becomes more of a player-led program than a coach-led program. All those things are happening in our program right now.